Zipop M70 final push rifle in the one piece. And I can hear, I can hear the people in Belgrade celebrating, flooding the streets. The fireworks are shooting out, girls are drinking and partying with the boys. But we are not there yet. Yes, the rifle is in the one piece, but one of uh, the very important uh, tasks left was to see after that record shattering performance in the sand tornado test do we have anything left on that battle so i did focus on basically checking out the accuracy and one of the challenges from you guys was remove the optic and see how i can perform with this rifle and basic iron sights at the 500 uh, yards. So here we are at Tula Ammo and let's roll the footage. Rap is putting the first shot and it's a hit on the right arm. The target will feel that uh, for sure. Look at the concentration on the face. He's taking the shot and boom, right into the guts. What a hit, the target will feel it for sure. Now the time for the third shot. Horrible miss to the left side. What the hell happened here? What the hell happened here? Can he recover? And boom, that's a nice target right into the throat. I can hear the target choking right now and spitting the blood. And finally the last shot lands on the target. It's basically oh, come back to the first hit. Four on five, four on five, iron sights at 500 yards with Zastava, I'll take it. So yes, four out of five with iron sights at 500 yards with the common grade ammo. Uh, because I cannot get the Barnal, my favorite ammo. <laughs> shame on you, shame on you that I cannot get it. Uh, and I'll take that, okay? It's not perfect. Uh, I put that rifle on the paper with the optic and it shoots around 3 MOA. It's like right on the 3 MOA, which basically at uh, 500 yards with some wind, it will be the spread of 15 uh, inches if you will do the calculations. And that's how it looked on the uh, plate with uh, that one miss. That's totally on me. Uh, so if I can ask Zastava to improve something, I will look. I love the barrel. The barrel, the chrome line, chrome lining on the barrel, big improvement. I, I, I think this is what the public asked for and you guys did deliver. Now, check a little bit. Can you drop down and keep that performance under the two MOA? And that would be like beautiful, like number one on my wish list. Uh, and, and if you guys could accomplish this, that would be great. That being said, I have to admit, guys, when I look at the Zastava Arms uh, USA today, where they are and where they started, this has been an uh, absolutely amazing journey for them. And I am full of respect for what they accomplished with their offerings and basically putting a pressure on Zastava Serbia. Uh, I think that they learn how to listen to the customers. They learn how to listen to the feedback from you. And it shows. It shows basically in this rifle, but also in the new rifles which they are bringing to the United States. And I have to admit it. At the beginning, when the Zastava USA pop out, I was very, very septic. Uh, I thought that uh, this is... A tremendous task and they are not ready for it and I was proven wrong. Uh, I really believe that this rifle at this point on the market basically the almost the, the end of the 2020 <laughs> this is one of the best deals uh, to get. If you're looking for the import rifle this is the rifle to get. If you want to have that feeling uh, of the import AK style style rifle this is the rifle to get i have absolutely no regrets for purchasing it 
I, I'll do it again and I recommend this rifle to many of you who are asking me what kind of rifle to purchase in the current conditions. Uh, this may change right in 2021. Uh, if uh, magically maybe we'll get some other offerings but as of right now the price point and uh, what what you got in the package that uh, beef up trunion like bolt trunion uh, ticker receiver the 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 chrome line barrel whole performance of the rifle through the 5000 rounds I, I absolutely i i love it i i think they did the fantastic job uh, we talk about the rivets in the past many many times right the rivets was the sore point and i hope so that the, the stava learn uh its lessons and that will be corrected or maybe it was corrected already but uh the bottom line is you guys have to receive the better product at the end of the day right the rivets was the only uh kind of you know complaint i had about that but enough with the bullshit talk i'm already digging into the to the rifle guards and as you can see there is some rust present at the end of the recoil spring again guys there is basically no maintenance on those rifles when i'm doing it through the 5000 rounds uh, you can see sometimes i'm sweeping just the dust or uh, not the dust but like a gunk from the parts we can see better how they look and you always got the better view on the on the you know screen uh, from from my high resolution pictures than i do but uh that's the, the basic core components are never clean so that's the bottom line so there is some rust and i would expect this uh, to happen all right after all the adventures in swamp rain and things like this then there you go there is some rust at the piston head as well and that just shows you guys uh don't be that guy don't be <laughs> like me here okay uh, take take after like if, if you're doing the shooting in the uh, wet humid environments uh, after the shooting you don't have to clean it but just like sweep it to prevent that moisture from uh set settling down on the components all right I will start with the bolt because this is where the money is and I'm looking at the locking locks and guys this is like a textbook this is looking beautiful this is looking really beautiful there's no deformation no steps no nothing this is how you want the bolt to look like uh, front of the bolt face is looking great uh, free floating pin firing pin and the extractor claw everything here is looking great awesome now the bolt carrier and look at that this is this is again textbook aging on the bolt carrier no deformation uh, maybe slight but like absolutely nothing with uh, that mileage i would take that all day long and i guess the zastava is right to keep the the same fire control group as from the factory and the caming channel is looking good and the, we already talked about the piston head uh, try, try to keep it clean right don't give up this is all looking good look into the right side of the trunion reveals absolutely nothing i don't want to repeat myself this is again textbook aging on the components the left side is looking good too and you cannot miss that chrome lining on the chamber there is some rust uh, there are some rust particles right here i'll try to make a picture so you guys can have it but again uh from what this rifle went through and how many times it was swimming and things like this i'm not going to blame them for it uh the bottom of the trunion is looking great and the rivets on the trigger guard and the rivets here are holding up they not going to win beauty contest but they holding up they're really looking good here nothing to complain let me use my retort strength combined with technology and move that lever up and now i have in my hands a gas tube and that means only one thing here, here it comes and here is the shout out to the pirates union look oh and inside the gas tube i see absolutely uh, nothing with the exception we talk about it again the dust not the dust the rust particles and uh, you have to understand we are in a very very kind of humid climate here in uh, this section of the missouri so 
this is looking great you will actually see this and uh the, in the gas black too the 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 rust points this is because i was when we were finishing the last thousand rounds i was shooting in the rain and uh, again that was a lot of moisture i just was plowing through the rounds to get that done uh and barrel is looking good let me check the pins on the front post on the gas block are holding up holding up looking good all right guys this is it with the exception that you have to wait for the no-go gauge uh, test to check how we are going to perform on the last test so let me quickly set up the no-go gauge and we'll go from there no go gauge on the bolt face quiet let's see what's going to happen we're moving slowly towards the chamber the tip of the gauge is inside the chamber and deep push and nothing one more time balls deep first push nothing <laughs> jesus christ that's infantry talking here okay one more time and boom nothing People of Serbia, congratulations on uh, the flagship product uh, of your offerings, the Zipop uh, Z70, completed the 5000 rounds test and it did in a fantastic uh, style. My head uh, goes down to the Zastava, a uh, guy's job well done. If you could work a little bit on that accuracy that would be great but i will take it what is here in this uh, package all right thank you for watching thank you for being with ak operators union as always hit that subscribe button and notification bell so actually the grand grabbers gun grabbers from youtube will let you know that they kill you posted the new video thank you guys bye